Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm Mike with TheGentlemanRacer.com. It's been a long time since we've done some traveling videos, but I'm here in Palm Springs, California, and we are headed to the BMW Performance Center to drive the M4 GT4 race car. It's gonna be a blast. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. All right, guys, so we are out here at BMW Performance Center West at Thermal Club. Really excited to be here. We're getting ready to head into the in-class instruction. We're going to learn about the cars, um, a little bit about the, the M4 GT4 program, and then we're going to head out here to the track and test it out in the real world. It's going to be a lot of fun. Welcome to Performance Center West here at the Thermal Club. Uh, my name is Brian. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about me in a few moments. But before we start any program that we have, we like to start with a brief introduction of who you're going to work with. Get an idea of what your nearly adult supervision looks like over the course of the day. Um, this is the workplace for a part of today. As you can see, it's a pretty awesome workspace. We're going to talk about all of this outside, okay, where it's a lot more engaging to see it hear it then, see how the buttons work, take pictures of the real thing. Uh, obviously it's uh, an F82 uh, M4 GT4 car that's currently run in IMSA. We'll be running IMSA this weekend in mid-Ohio. They're running SRO and globally in GT4 platform and been super successful and, and very reliable. So the, the cars that you will drive have uh, totally similar setups to what race teams are using. Uh, no difference. Controls, uh, uh, when we get in, and again, if you have questions as we go, the, obviously it's a FIA approved uh, roll cage, race seat, everything about it is, uh, is incredibly safe. I was just talking to one of the instructors this morning and I've seen some, some pretty intense crash footage because there's, there's 14 of us support engineers globally and everybody sees everybody's race right support. And, I've seen some horrendous crashes and, and no one's really gotten hurt. So cars are super safe to do what they're doing. Um, if, I'll tell you what, if you want to hop in and I'll open the passenger door too while we go over this so you can have a good look inside. I'm on track. As far as the center console goes, it retains a stock street car start stop button. Okay. Um, your foot's got to be on the brake to start the car. Uh, then a depressed uh, to turn it off just as it is. It actually retains a standard streetcar shifter as well. For uh, for all of you that are illiterate, you just tap over once to uh, put it into drive and then it's paddle shift from there. Um, one tap into the middle will put it in neutral. The dash will also display what gear you're in or neutral at that time. Um, after you've driven and you come into the pits, just put it in neutral, leave the car running. We'll let it cool a little bit uh, before we turn them off. Uh, and if for whatever reason you needed to find reverse, if you're, again, not M-car literate, uh, over to the left and up. But again, we'd be on the radio with you for whatever reason you needed to do that. Um, air conditioning, the cars do have AC. There is a fan that'll constantly blow and it'll blow cold air under braking because that's when the AC compressor is engaged. Uh, it'll blow cold air at the back of your seat. And then also there's an adjustable fan you can regulate the amount of air that comes out and where it's blowing the air. Uh, and it's really awesome. Yeah, 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 especially when... There'll be shift lights across the top of the dash. Uh, green, yellow, flashing red. Uh, I was talking this morning, there's a, 
you're better off to short shift the car a little bit than wait for big flashing reds. It'll make noise, it'll make heat, but it won't actually equate to much lap time or do you any, any, any good. Um, so yeah, feel free to flash on the ship on the yellows or as soon as you see the reds. Um, and they'll be across this dash here. Uh, some of the, there's so many safeties in place nowadays with, uh, with things. Don't cons don't concern yourself with looking at temperatures or trying to monitor that stuff. Just enjoy driving. Just follow the instructor, listen to what they say, work with that. There's enough alarms, there's enough safeties that if something's going wrong, they'll either tell you or overslow the car or do something like that. So don't, don't, don't feel like you need to watch anything more really than the, than the ship lights. They'll, there'll be ground speed. There'll be things that can deter you, but honestly, just, uh, just enjoy driving it is probably my best advice. And good spacing between the cars. Probably about two to three car lengths between the cars is optimum. Any less than that, it's obviously a bit of an issue for cooling the cars and, um, and also a safety issue. Um, and I want to look in the mirror and I'd like to see uh, more than just your smiling face back there. So, um, and any more than that, in it is an indication to us that you guys are not comfortable with the speed that we're going. You know, we want to go quickly, you want to go quickly, but ultimately we're limited to going the speed of the slowest car in our group. So as long as you can maintain the spacing, pulling right up on the instructor's back bumper and trying to push him is going to slow the group down. Maintain the two to three car length spacing, the instructor will keep going a little quicker and a little quicker, and we'll just go quicker and quicker every lap. Um, Second thing we're looking for is your vehicle placement. Imagine that we're on a railroad track out there. You can't move a car width to the side on a railroad track. So if I'm all the way down to the white line at the apex for the corner, you need to be all the way down to that white line at the apex. We're gonna get the cars on line first, then we're gonna add the speed later. So following our wheel tracks. To give everybody an opportunity to follow immediately behind the instructor, we are gonna do a rotation out there. We'll do this on the back straightaway. Your instructor will call you on the radio and ask you to rotate. Now normally we do it by car color, but obviously they're all the same car. So what we're gonna do is they'll ask the car that's immediately behind the instructor car on the back straight. They'll ask you to pull to the left, you'll pull out a line, and all you have to do is lift out of the throttle, okay? The other cars in the group will be accelerating down the straightaway. They will drive past you and you will fall in at the end of the train. That gives everybody the opportunity to follow immediately behind the instructor car. I know when you're the third or fourth car in line, there's sometimes things are lost in translation. So it gets everybody an opportunity. We'll do a few laps there. And then uh, you know we'll do a couple laps, come in. Generally, if you're with me, the first lap is gonna be very slow because I'm gonna be talking to you about reference points out there. You guys are drinking from the fire hose here today. You got these M4 GT4s, you got the suits and the helmets and all this other new stuff going on. So try and listen to what I'm doing. I'm gonna be talking to you about my reference points, where I'm braking, where I'm you know, turning in for the corner, where the apex is, driving tips, where you wanna look, and then you'll get feedback from the instructors over the radio. So let's go ahead and get ourselves suited up, helmets and Hans devices, gloves on, and then we'll get you in the car. All right, got my helmet on, getting my Hans device on, and we're jumping in the car. It's going to be a lot of fun.
wraps up my day here at Thermal Club with the BMW Performance Driving School. It is a ton of fun. If you've never been and you have the opportunity, do it. Uh, they've got a lot of great programs, half day programs, full day programs, the GT4 program they said has been really popular. Uh, if you wanna check it out, there's more information in the link down below. Uh, I wrote a full story for gentlemanracer.com about the experience, how you can take part of it, and uh, see you guys in the next video.